Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a brand new segment here on my channel, and it's a weekly LEGO show. I haven't finalized the name yet for the show, but don't worry, there will be one. And basically here in the show, it's going to be a weekly show. Every single Wednesday, I'm going to upload an episode, and in the show, I'm going to just talk about everything LEGO. I'm going to do a couple Ask Brick questions. I'm going to do an episode of BrickLover18 Asks You. I'll do some Those Brick Letters if I have any, and just generally talk about all things LEGO. Don't worry, this won't really affect any of the other content on my channel. I'll still be making LEGO reviews and other like LEGO videos that I make on my channel now. The only difference is I won't be uploading a weekly BrickLover18 Asks You episode and I won't be uploading a weekly Ask Brick video. It'll all be combined into this one new series and it's a weekly show happening every single Wednesday where I just combine the two and I think it's going to be really cool. So before we get started in this week's episode, I just really wanted to thank everybody for 4,000 subscribers. Last Saturday, I woke up and I had hit 4,000 subscribers and that meant a lot to me. 4,000 subscribers doesn't seem like that much, but that is four times the size of the town I live in. So to me, that's great. Of course, I definitely love to get more and I want to continue expanding my YouTube channel, but I really want to thank you for 4,000 subscribers. It truly does mean a lot. Now let's answer some Ask Brick questions. Brickmaster Studios asked, Do you sell products other than LEGO, for example, your BrickLover18 pens? I do not really sell other products other than LEGO. I do have some BrickLover18 pens, but I actually only have one made because it cost me like almost 4 or $5 just to produce the pen. So to sell it would be a ridiculous price and who would, let's face it, I have 4,000 subscribers. Who would pay like 6 or $7 for a pen that says BrickLover18 when I only have almost 4,000 subscribers? Probably nobody. It's kind of like if I came out with a t-shirt line. Would I sell very many t-shirts? Probably not. I'd probably sell three. Thorough Paper Mills Production asks, Are you a fan of trains? I'm asking this because I'm a big fan of trains. So I'm assuming you're going to mean Lego trains. And you know what? I like Lego trains. I think they're really cool. I like building them. It's a lot of fun. And I like watching them drive around the track. But trains and I have a love-hate relationship when it comes to having trains in my Lego city. Just because the stupid trains take up so much space. Like there's so much extra like real estate that the train tracks. I mean they only take up eight studs. But it's those stupid curves that just it's it needs such a wide curve and especially with my lego city layout is not the widest i find by the time i add the bare minimum for the curve i've just lost a whole bunch of real estate on my city other than that trains and i have a pretty good relationship so this is a question i kind of just found in my comments that wasn't really for an ask brick episode and it is you claim you don't like watching lego reviews but you still upload and make reviews why I admit, I said in another episode of Ask Rick, I don't really like watching LEGO reviews. Even if it's a brand new set, if I'm not like really interested in the set already, I probably won't watch your review, I'll just scroll by it. You know, Jang Bricks uploads a lot of great city reviews right off the bat. Odds are, or not even just city just reviews, just LEGO reviews, but odds are I'm not going to watch his reviews unless I'm thinking about buying the LEGO set itself, and then I'll watch the his reviews, you know, his, not just his reviews, but many other people's reviews, to see what they kind of think of the set. But in regards to me uploading reviews, I upload reviews because I actually have a lot of fun making review videos. And I know a lot of people talk about how much they hate making review videos, but I really enjoy it. Like setting up the minifigure, staging the set, filming all the different camera angles. I have a lot of fun making them, so if I'm going to make them anyway, I'm obviously going to upload them, but I don't do them very often. Like my, you, Not one person could say BrickLover18 is pretty much just LEGO reviews. Like, the last LEGO review I uploaded was probably like three weeks ago, and there's not one scheduled for another couple weeks. But I barely do LEGO reviews, so I'm definitely not a LEGO reviewer, and I only do them because I really enjoy making them. Like, it's fun for me. 
Now that I've answered all those Ask Brick questions, let's take a look at the mailbox to see if we have any of those Brick letters for this week's episode. And look at that, we have a couple letters to read today. So the first letter is from YodaFan66. Hi BrickLover18, I love your channel, I have been subscribed for almost a year, I love the videos you put out and that it always gives me a smile to see your new uploads. And I love how your city is coming along nicely, and just keep up the good work dude. The next one is from Cathal. To BrickLover18, I love your videos and I watch them every day. I don't know how you don't have more subscribers, but stay at it and keep going. My favorite type of video is the city updates, but I also love the frequently asked questions. I'm not so keen on BrickLover18 asks you because I can't participate, but that's okay. And I know the specific user here, I have messaged him in the past, he doesn't have a YouTube account, so that's why he can't participate in the BrickLover18 asks you. The final letter here is from bricks for u one Hi BrickLover18, I love LEGO and I admire your collection very much. I subscribed to you a few months ago and I wish I'd subscribed earlier. I love that city and I wish my parents would let me have a LEGO room and not dislike LEGO as much as they do. Now my addiction is so big I have resorted to doing those survey sites for LEGO money. I love the halls, reviews, city tours, the whole nine yards or as Canadian city meters. I am 13 years old in grade 7 in South Florida. I have started building a LEGO Star Wars mock in my only Lego space and I have a huge poly bag collection. Thanks everybody so much for those awesome letters. Really awesome to read, really fun to read and I had a lot of fun responding to you back privately in email and that was great. Now that I put the letters on the ceiling, here is what my Those Brick Letters ceiling looks like. If you want to send a letter for the Those Brick Letters segment, you can find my email down in the description below. There you can email me your letter or you can email me to get it, my address so you can mail me a letter. If you're kind of wondering why I do the Those Brick Letters segment, you can check out this video that I made on my alt channel just kind of explaining why I do it and how it was, you know, people asked for it so I thought I'd deliver it. And a lot of people still don't think that I should be doing a fan mail segment when I only have 4,000 subscribers, but I'll let you go watch that video. If you want to send some fan mail to be read on this show, great, that's great for you. If you don't, you do not have to whatsoever and I'm not going to make you. I'm not even going to force it on you, but if you do want to send it, my email address is in the description below. Finally, let's move on to this week's episode of Brick Lover 18 Asks You. A couple weeks ago now, I asked you if you could make your own LEGO video game, what would it be? Lots of awesome comments this week and here are some of my favorites. Bricks for me, I would like to create a LEGO City game. It would be like a LEGO City Undercover, but you could make custom minifigure characters also, like LEGO City Undercover, I would want it to have where you could build stuff, but instead of just simple little things, I would have it build buildings and roads, and I would have the city look brick built like the LEGO movie. I really like that idea. Jiblo Production says, I would make a Brick Lover 18 video game. He doesn't know how, but he will. Disney Freaks 309 would make a LEGO Disney video game, and it would have all the characters in the new Disney series and more and the plot would be the villains would be captured by Mickey Mouse and some heroes from the different Disney movies. That sounds very interesting. Brick Mockton 1 would make a game that kids or adults can create their own instructions for their own LEGO models. Finally, the last comment is from eBricks. Honestly, I wouldn't make one. I think that LEGO is steering their products to the more virtual side of things due to the demand, which in my opinion defeats the purpose of LEGO. It has, and always will be, about the building for me. This whole scan and play idea with Nexo Knights doesn't interest me at all. It's turning LEGO into a less creative product. Also the fact that LEGO hasn't been encouraging customization by showing alternate builds on the boxes isn't helping. I'll just keep to the building LEGO in the real world. I kind of agree. You know what? I don't have any video game systems. I have an iPhone, an iPad, I have a lot of Apple products, but I don't have things like an Xbox, a PlayStation, I do have a Wii, but I never use it. Like, I'm just not a video game kind of person, and partly is because I don't have time. When I have free time, I want to be spending it in my LEGO room, building LEGO, you know, making videos, things like that. I don't want to be stuck in front of a TV, playing a video game, that's just not something that interests me, and apparently that's not really something that interests eBricks either. That was a great question. Thanks everybody so much for all your answers to this week's Brick Lover 18 Asks You episode. If you didn't get your answer read this week, I apologize, so maybe better luck next week. And now on to this week's question. This week's question is from Doctor Who Ate My Bacon. If you could make your own Lego set, what would it be? 
Everybody let me know your answer down in the comments below, and hopefully I'll pick your answer to read in next week's episode. Again, like always, if you have any suggestions for BrickLover18 Asks You Questions, I'll always take them, and you can feel free to comment those down below as well. Thanks so much for watching the very first episode of this weekly show. I hope by next week I'll have finalized the name. I just haven't really, I have a couple names, but I just haven't really nailed one down yet. So hopefully next week I'll have that. Let me know down below what you think of the show. I hope this episode wasn't too long for you or anything like that. And time is something that I'm definitely going to work on. Thanks again so much for watching and please do let me know if you enjoyed. So I was just filming the intro of this video and I accidentally dropped my Lego play button. As you can see the pieces are all over the floor here and it's pretty much a disaster.